well, I should have shown you the before picture. There was a box, it's about the size of a shoe box. It was shallow and a little wider. It held cedar um, blocks for moth protection, I guess, if you didn't want to use those toxic moth balls. I remember that joke. Do you know what mothballs smell like? And then you say yes, and I say, how did you get their little legs apart? Ba bum bump. Anyway, uh, mothballs. So anyway, I had this box, and I made fish using it. And I don't remember exactly where I started, but we'll pretend I started here. That's a fish. I said the rounded edge of one of the flaps of the box. The O for something. What did it say? D O V W. And I'm looking at the letters that are left. Um, something would set. A set I haven't used. Maybe it was just wood set, because there's an O of wood. Here's another O, and part of the W, and here's part of the D. So, wood set. So anyway, here are the fish that I made. And uh, you know, I started with sort of a obvious fishness of this fin shape in the eye and the tail and um, so there that one was this one included this the box had all these little sort of seals on it that say things that are important I guess but I cut them up so this is uh, another fish. Again, it has that sort of curved flap bit that I used here and here. And I see I can certainly cut with my scissors a curve, but it's fun to actually have them pre-cut. I realize that my camera is tilting here, so anyway, there's one. There's another. I'll show you all of them in a minute. Oh, then we started dealing with angular edges. As I, as I cut my box apart, I look at the pieces that are left, like this piece, and does this inspire me? It will. It hasn't yet, but it will. So when I look at, I had this black and this blue edging, so they became the fins, and a little O and a part of an R to make the mouth. So we have an angular one. Here's another angular one with a O and a U and a line to be its head and nose and mouth. 100% became a 0% for the face on this one. Again, made up of scraps that I put together. This one, the D became the mouth, so we have this sort of underbite and overbite and this angry eye and an eyebrow to make this fish. This one doesn't have any of the paisley pattern. It just has the black and the blue. I guess it's dark blue and the light blue. And there's a leaf shape from one of these little seals that uh, became the eye. Oh, who's next? Oh, this one with lots of teeth. And angular bit 
Jones. Lazy eye here and anyway, they're fun. I have two more to show you and then I'll show you all of them. Fun, don't you think? No. A what? I've been listening to a lot of Lord Peter Whimsey audiobooks and a what is used quite a lot. Okay, so here's my school of fish all together now. This looks like one of the three stacker ocean liners. Come on, move out of the way. There. One box out of recycling makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fish. Plus a lot of chum over here that will turn into more fish. What do you think? I think they're fun.